Good morning, you guys. Mr. Overlander here. And I'm Mrs. Overlander. So you guys can see we are not in our studio, which is where we've been recording for the last while month or so. <laughs> yeah. um, we've been meaning to get out, and we finally had the opportunity to get out this weekend. We are over here in Redcliffe Campground over here in Utah, and we are heading to Moab. It's our first time going. I'm stoked. If you guys want to see what trails we hit and uh, what adventures we do along the way, join us. Stay and tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Her. She's got all these. She's, she's got all these like, like sticks and stuff. Dad. She's so cute. Okay. This is Storm's first time. Okay, go back to the truck. Go back to the gladiator. Maya, go home. That's not home. Maya. They're going back in the wild. I'm following Mrs. Overland. There, she has no sense of direction. Fun fact. So I'm gonna go the right way, and she can go the wrong way. <laughs> Come on, you. Look at the dogs. Come on, puppy. So if you guys are like us and you're driving from Arizona and you're heading on your way to Moab, we decided to go through Las Vegas just because it was an interstate versus the back roads. And plus we saw this cool spot right here on Google Maps and had really good reviews. About 12 campsites, really awesome camping, great, amazing backdrops, red rocks. It's cool. So if you guys are heading to Moab, coming from Vegas. It is a paid thing, so $15, but you have water, you have a picnic table, you have Fire pit. all the extra amenities you normally don't have when and you're overlanding. Super, and super clean, so. Check it out. Check it out, we recommend it. This is the second time our dogs are seeing snow. We are from Hawaii, if you don't know, but uh, Maya is was born on Oahu and Storm was born in Arizona, and uh, this is the first time playing in the snow. Well, we made it into Moab before dark, just barely. We actually just turned down the road that we were planning on camping at. We had a subscriber, fan, friend uh, recommend a specific location. So we're gonna check it out, sight unseen. Hopefully it's not closed or anything, but we're snow. on that road. <laughs> There's snow. It's very icy. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but the sun is going down, so I'm assuming by the time we get up to our camp spot in 17 minutes, um, it'll be dark and too dark to film. This is the most snow we've seen in a very long time. A little slippity slide. It's icy, icy snow. How do you feel about driving in the icy snow? It's we haven't been, done this in a long I know. time. This is why I said I'm from Hawaii. <laughs> it's like the sand, except when you stop going, you, you keep going. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, we just watched almost someone slide off the road. It's part of the adventure. It is. I trust you. Turn around, all these turnaround spots. Oh no. Hopefully our spot isn't um, what's that word? Closed, as everything else has been. Pretty cool though. It is. It's pretty, pretty neat. Wow. You know how I said I was gonna check back in with you guys after we got to camp? Well, the drive is just way too pretty and the sun hasn't quite gone down yet. So I'm gonna share with you guys a little bit more and, of what we're seeing. And I'm loving the supercharger because it's just hauling us up this hill in the snow. The supercharger kicks in and just boop right up the hill. <laughs> but this is really snowy. Holy grass. You guys always double check triple check if you are new to the wheeling world and you are going through an obstacle and you aren't sure if you're gonna fit like that check your clearance we have a rooftop tent so when we're going through things we always need to take into account our bed rack our rooftop tent you know all that fun stuff all right let me find my spot You got plenty of room. You're good. Hello, Cliff. On the other side. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy smoke -a rollies I think we're almost done. Oh, the view. Wow. Nice. 
Wow. You definitely die if you went off the bench. I'm just saying. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Those mountains look fake. Good morning, you guys. It is, I don't even know what day it is, December something. It's December something for today, and we are here, finally, at Bins and Things. So, just to let you guys know, we did look at the weather, and we did look at Facebook, and we did look at everything, and Fins and Things, and Hell's Revenge, and the, those are the two trails that we actually really wanted to do. They were open. They were open as of yesterday. But of course, since we're here, so, yes. that had to change. Yes, yeah, so since we're here, the weather's changed. It's you know, cold. It, it is you winter. Guys, it's like 22 degrees. It yeah. might be a little bit warmer than that, but it feels like 22 degrees. It's pretty cold. <laughs> so, anyways, let me take you over here. So again, when we left our house in Arizona, everything was open. Facebook said life was good, everyone's happy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So now we're here. Guess what? So in a day, it closed. So now we get to go explore a different trails. Something else and see what other trails may or may not be open for winter. And it looks like it may snow again. Guys, look at the weather. <laughs> so, <laughs> the weather's pretty. It's pretty wintry here in Moab. So for those overlanders who do well in the snow and the winter, what are your secrets? I know that we're Mr. Mr. Overlander, but we're from Hawaii, so we do things a little different when it's warm. Our diesel heater has been pumping out some <laughs> hot heat in our glide heater, and but our glide heater is itching to go on a trail. I saw like there's like something called baby something back there. I guess we could drive up that rock. It's just a rock though. I want to do like an actual trail. So, I guess we're gonna go back in the gladiator and go look for an actual trail. Oh, those of you who've been out to Moab and you are here all the time, uh, what are your favorite trails? We're not gonna be able to hit very many while we're here this time, but we are planning on coming out again and actually hitting as many trails as we can. So we'd like to know from you guys, what are your favorite trails and why? So that way we can hit them the next time we're here. Yeah, to, again, you know, it is winter, it is December, and Christmas is next week. Um, our plan to come out here was just to kind of see what the trails were all about, so that way in the summer when we come back, we know this is a trail we want to do, this is a trail we want to play on, this is a trail we want to get this action shot or whatever. So that was the whole point of this trip. But it looks like one of the trails we've been wanting to do for the whole entire year, we can't do. Well, two of the trails, Hell's Revenge. But you didn't want to do that one anyways, you're afraid. I'm afraid of heights, guys. So we're gonna go back onto the Jeep app and go find another trail that was open. I know Poison Spider's open, but I don't know. That looks it's, cold. It, we it, were close to that yeah, one yesterday. Yeah, we, we camped above that, so that one looked like it was pretty snowy. So we'll go see what we can find and go from there. But our Gladiator looks pretty cool. All right, baby. This was not on our list today, and we're solo, but we're gonna go attempt Poison Spider, yeah? Yeah, there's enough people around to where if we ever did need recovery, we could, but not like we needed it before. Side-by-sides. I only see side-by-sides. That's true. This is a Jeep trail, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit just like, ready to go try it? I'm excited. Okay, so good you show us the air down and okay. do it. Okay, that was English. What? <laughs> I am Greg, I talk weird. You mumble. I do. Fun facts with Mr. Miss Overlander, which we seem to do in every video. This time, it's Greg likes to mumble. Okay, and Greg thinks there should be a zip line that goes from there all the way over to there. That would be one awesome zip line. That'd be really cool. All right, tear it down. Heck yeah. This is just an example, you know, as we're driving up to it, it looks really bad, but all you gotta do is just drive passenger side up this way. Passenger side here. Driver tire should go up that. Just drive right up it. Okay, so for someone who is not familiar with spotting or picking their lines, how would you, for a mess like this, let me show them what they're looking at. You got, <laughs> You got... Oh look, this this is Lightbright's way. Oh yeah. That's the way Kevin and Brittany would go. Absolutely. They'd go from there all the way up there. Why? Because it's the most difficult. 
This what about a beginner or someone well, who's figuring it out? Well, you just want to see where other people have stacked rocks. That would give you a good idea. Okay. So what you want to pay attention to is there's a rock right there. Okay. Um, you don't want to hit that in your passenger door. So you want to basically be like right here. So you want to avoid that. that. Yeah. yeah. But it almost looks like... I mean, it looks it looks like this is the route right here from what I see but it also looks like because our trucks lifted and we have some good clearance you could go like that way could probably go up right here too so there's a couple different lines you could take so you don't want to go that way because that's too close to the edge <laughs> so right here is the way that I'm gonna try and I basically want my passenger tire I really want to be like right I want to be like right here passenger, passenger tire. tire there yeah and I want to watch that rock other than that, other than that it's just straight up so All right. Let me back up and line me up, okay? Good. Good. Easy. Keep going. It's just the dip cover. Okay. My own cover side. You're good. My door. Let me go look. Oh, you're plenty good. Nice and easy. Right on. Perfect. Well, a little love tap to the ditch cover. And that is why you have trail armor. I have to say one of the things that we did for trail armor that everyone should do right away if you're planning on going off-road is the diff covers. We have the medical diff covers and not sure if you caught onto that or not, but we have love tapped both the front and the rear going up this obstacle here. So it's always good to have good trail gear because you never know when you're gonna need it. You don't want to be out in the trail and uh, need to do a repair because it could have been avoided with something as simple as diff covers. I stand corrected. Um, I meant diff skids, not diff covers, and what I just said a minute ago. But now you guys know. Are you still learning? So I am. You guys, I am still learning. Way. You know, a year ago I didn't know anything about trucks, so I'd say I'm coming a long way. You've and come a long way. You've actually learned a lot. I have. You have a lot um, of stuff to. I appreciate all of you guys not being uh, too hard on me in the very beginning. I am learning everything, and why not? You know, we all start somewhere. How was the first challenge? Yeah, you know, your line's really important. Cannot stress that enough when you're doing challenges or obstacles. But um, you love tapped a few things, but overall, you know, we have our trail armor. First obstacle, yep, first obstacle done. Right on, all right. Let's see what the rest of this trail has to offer. Nice and easy. You're gonna drop down right about now. Nice and slow. Perfect. Good, go little passenger. Perfect, you're gonna ride it out now. It felt way worse than what it really is. It looked a lot worse than I think yeah. it may have actually been. I like Moab so far. <laughs> Alright babe, what line do you want me to take to go up this? I don't know, you got a longer wheelbase. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that'll work. I'm not sure that a gladiator could go up that. If anyone has seen a gladiator go up like that, um, I feel like we can do it. Do, we share hit, share the picture. Guys. I think our gladiator would be pissed at us. I think very you could upset. Do it I think you could do it. I could probably. Do you hit the tow hitch for sure. <laughs> the only way that I could climb this is if I go hug the corner right here. Passenger tire here. It'd have to be right here. Look at all the scrapey spots from other people who've attempted this. You know what? I'll put the truck up on it and see what it looks like. Here you go, babe. Good. Nice and easy. Keep going. Driver's tire's gonna make contact here in a minute. You're gonna start climbing on your driver's side. Good. Ooh. That's dragging. Is it hitting anything else? You're good right now. Keep going. Good still? Yep, good still. Keep going. Slow. 
Good, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Hey! Good. Stop. You're hitting the control arm in the back. Oh, it's just hitting it? It's ju it just hit when you came up to climb. Okay, hold on. Pretty sketchy way to get out though. <laughs> Watch your arm. Darn masks. For as a driver, if I probably hugged the wall more and didn't slide sideways, then I think I'd probably be able to climb right up Ooh. it, yeah. Okay, I couldn't get up there. You show me how to do it. Show me how it's done. Guy brain versus woman brain. <laughs> this is why we got the fancy sliders. <laughs> oh, so hard. <laughs> Still haven't hit the front bumper yet on anything though. Bye, Jeep! That view, you guys. Do you always bring glass cleaner when you're driving places? This is the best, this is the best glass cleaner. This stuff works so good. Check out this view, you guys. Oh, Greg photobombed. What are you? Check out this view of Greg. <laughs> we made it to the waterfall? It's kind of cool, I didn't know about this trail. So, poison spider is right here. It's the purple, red, teal, medium. Very cool. Off amber, waterfall with snow. How fun. I don't know about this one. <laughs> it should be interesting. All right, guys. I guess I'm gonna end the video today at the waterfall. This is just all ice. I can't, we can't get up it. It just slides right back down. If we were with another Jeep, we would uh, give it another shot. I don't want to bomb through it and then have it get colder later and then slide down there someplace. That doesn't sound like fun. But this is a pretty fun trail, not too difficult at all. We're going to head to the Arches National Park and go check out some natural arches and stuff and then go get some food. If you guys saw PSE steering and you're wondering why someone would want to spend $3,000 on steering, well first, your truck drives way better. Second, you can drive on the trails like this. I mean, like, this is really nice. We're aired down to about 12 pounds, or excuse me, we're aired down to about 15 pounds in the front. And look, if I turn on the front locker, the locker's on, and I can still drive it one finger. It's so nice. So, if you're thinking about the PSE steering, it's well worth every single penny. It makes off-road driving so much more fun. That's with the Hydro Assist Ram. That's this all. This is what we're driving on. Oh yeah, we're gonna get, what is it, is that green water? Oh, that's pretty. Am I down? You're down, you're good. You're gonna start dropping down on driver's side? Perfect. Been, that would have been a better route. Yeah. Good morning, you guys. Today we were over at the Corona Arch. We went to the national parks yesterday, but they don't really allow dogs outside of the parking lot, which doesn't work for yeah, us because we I, have two dogs. Ours needed to run around and get some energy off as they've been cooped up in the car the whole time. So we figured we'd go do this, what, 2.3 miles round trip? Yeah. 
So we've seen this on Facebook. Uh, if you guys uh, aren't sure what arch we're talking about, it's the one where the people tied the rope swing on it and then they jumped off with it and they're swinging on the arch. Super cool video that's on YouTube. But we actually want to go see this in person. We saw this one in Hawaii. So it's gonna be kind of neat to go see it in person. And we figured since yesterday was kind of a bust, since you couldn't go off the trail and we had to leave our dogs in the car, we'd bring you guys along for a little vlog today. Ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. This is my baby hiking. Don't judge me with my stick. I like your purple stick. Come on, Ready? Come on, Maya. And Maya is leading the way. And Maya's gone. <laughs> I have my trusty. You have your trusty guide dog. <laughs> guide dog, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> This is actually Storm's official first like hike hike. Huh? She looks like she's doing a terrible job. She's figuring out. Hey baby, what do you think of the hike so far? It's really pretty. Oh. Um, you know, hikes are, are more enjoyable when everyone gets to come. We didn't do any of the hikes. Upstairs. <laughs> we didn't do any of the hikes in the Na Arches National Park. Um, but I have to say that the views here can't wait to see it to the, the other end. The hike's yeah. really easy too. I know, it's nice. Mostly flat. And they have that green paint right here on the rocks to symbolize where the trail is. So it's actually been very easy to follow. If it was snowing out though, I think it'd be a little bit harder. I didn't expect that. No. No, me neither. <laughs> Storm had a hard time coming up. Well, show how high up we are. We are pretty decently high. Okay. Are you do it? What Maya does in this situation. She knows how to go bladders, so but I have a feeling she can go up and around. Go for it. Alright, Papaya, come here. Up. Maya, up. No, right here. Maya, up. 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 Good girl. Up. Good girl. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> go the other way. Here, take her. You, should, you climb up it and you show her. Maya, come on. <laughs> well, you know, you can go that way too. <laughs> Cheater. We'll see how the golden does. Oh, she's not going to fare well at all. Okay, go to mama. Come on. She saw. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it worked that way. Maya, come on. Here, here. Maya, help. Help, Maya, help. Help, help, help. help. Good girl! Papaya, come here! Come on, let's go see mama. Come on, up! Good girl, that's my good girl! Good, good girl, get Storm! Storm. Grab Storm, please! And that's how you teach them. Good, good girl. girl, Storm! Hey, good girl, you did it! That was a decent height for them. It was, but now she knows Look at that! Go. That's a people ladder. And they didn't even use it. <sighs> you ready to go over there? There's another cool thing over there. This place um, is really surprising me how nice it is. Let's keep going. Let's do it. This wraps up our trip to Moab for this weekend. We're planning on coming back out here in the summer for more of the Jeep <laughs> content, all of the fun off-roading trails. But you guys, if you're in Moab, Make time for this. This is the Corona Arch. It's 2.7 miles or something like that round trip. 2.3, I was just told. <laughs> it's 2.3 miles round trip. And this is your view at the very end. I mean. Yeah, that's a million dollar view. We've been to some pretty incredible places and uh, this is very high up there on that list. You guys should check it out. If you guys like this video, hit the like button and if you want to see more videos subscribe for my jeepers this is our last jeep video of the year merry christmas if you are one of my subscribers who enjoy the clothing haul videos there are a few more of those videos to come before christmas merry christmas you guys i don't know what's more dangerous walking diagonal or trying to vlog while walking in the arches or the arch here and hold the camera steady. But it looks like I'm doing a pretty good job. The Canon R6 is an amazing camera. 
If you guys wonder what kind of DSLR that we use, we shoot with Canon and the quality is amazing. And check out the quality, I mean, it's amazing. A little pricey though, a few thousand dollars. But hopefully this camera won't run over like I did with my last one. Right, babe? Right. <laughs> All right, you guys, you guys have a Merry Christmas and I cannot wait for 2021. Hopefully we get aliens, zombies, or spaceships. That's what I'm waiting for. Bye guys. This trail is not only beautiful, it's also relatively pretty easy. You guys may have noticed I'm carrying my purple handy dandy. I know I said it again. Handy dandy. Because you're an old lady. Stick. Old lady. I'm not an old lady, but I am a trip hazard when hiking. So this has been really helpful if you guys are newer to hiking or not as experienced, you might want to consider bringing something like this. Otherwise, this hike is relatively easy and I think anyone can do it. That hike was amazing. And now, it looks like Greg's getting some food ready. I'm trying. What are you making? I'm making hickory keto steak and we're gonna do it, wrap it in tortillas. Um, it's gonna taste really good, especially everything, everything tastes good after you go hiking. <laughs> so. Everything tastes good when you make it out in the wild. Yeah, that's so weird that when you grill out, out overlanding or camping, it always tastes amazing. And then we cook the same thing at home, we're like, ugh. But it's just smelling good, it's cooking good. We missed the stove on our turtle trailer. Um, it's just a little bit easier to cook and it's a lot bigger. Plus it has a big skillet. But this is working. Love having the tailgate. It makes it nice and simple to do this. No need for a table. No need for a table. Go. Um, this brings back memories of making, cooking, grilling on the on pull of hollies. Oh yeah, pull of hollies. So, but the weather's actually gotten really nice right now. There's no wind. People are really cool. So I know you're the one who drove up this, but I thought we could test my short people. Yeah, <laughs> your short person problem. Yeah. Me being 5'4". Look at Storm. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> this dog. Wait, no! Storm was gonna come out. There's absolutely no way I can get in the truck right now. Alright, let me back you it off. You got a couple inches on me. Let me back it off of that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 